Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Programming Knowledge. And in this video, guys, we're going to talk about multidimensional arrays in uh, our C program. So from the previous tutorial, we have learned how to use the um, basic array. So we have implemented one dimensional array. We uh, trying to display the contents of an array by using the for loop. And of course, we declare and initialize one dimensional array from the previous tutorial. Now, as I've said from this tutorial, we're going to learn how to work with multi dimensional array. So, basically, guys, multi dimensional array um, works like uh, the same with the one dimensional array, but the difference is that it contains um, the array contains uh, a set of arrays. So, in C programming language, uh, it will allow us or it allows us to use multi-dimensional arrays and the declaration or multi-dimensional declaration for that is by using the type of force as i've said from the previous tutorial if you want to uh, store multiple values um, you have to use arrays and in order for you to declare an array you have to specify the type of that particular array so you have to specify the type and then, of course, the name of the array. And then you have to specify the size here. So, for example, size. Now, this is um, good for a one-dimensional array. So, you have to specify the type, the name, and, of course, the size of your array. Now comes the multi-dimensional array or two-dimensional array. So, you could do it like this. So size 2 and then this is the size 1. So this is how you um, declare multi-dimensional array or two-dimensional array inside our C program. So the type, of course, you don't, uh, you know, you don't want to forget that the size of, or I mean, the type of the value that you want to save in this particular array. So and then the name and then of course the size 1 and then the size 2. Now, if you want to create three-dimensional array, you could do it like this, size 2, I mean size 3. So, you have square brackets for your size 1, square brackets for your size 2, and square brackets for your size 3. So, again, this is how you can declare your multi-dimensional array. But, you know, the simplest form of multidimensional array is by just specifying two um, sizes. And basically, guys, this uh, this will represent the columns and rows of your um, array or multidimensional array because multidimensional array works like a table. So size one will be your um, number of rows and the size two will represent the number of columns so let's try this let's try to declare and initialize um, multi-dimensional array so following this particular declaration type so the first thing is of course the type so int and then we could say here a or a variable name a this is the name of our array multi-dimensional array and then of course we could specify the size for our rows if for example three right there and then the size of our columns or number of columns so that's basically like four and then you could uh, you know initialize this by using the equal sign and then open and close curly braces so in this uh, inside this curly braces we could declare or initialize the values for our uh, rows and columns as i've said uh, multi-dimensional arrays are you know composed of um, arrays right there okay so we could add array of values right here this will represent the row one of our array so like for example zero um, one and then um, two and then three okay so again, this is for uh, initializing 
the um, row initializing the row index by zero okay so we could access this by using the index zero okay and for example uh, basically uh, we declare it here like um, three so we need to add more um, arrays to this so open and close curly braces and another one to make it you know the length is three so in here we could display or add four and then five and then six and then um, seven okay and then the other row will have eight then nine and then ten and then eleven okay so basically we now have uh, declared and initialize our multi-dimensional array so the three here represent this rows three rows and as you can see here we have declared four columns so it should um, count or I mean, you know, the columns start from this, 0, 4, 8, and then um, 1, 5, 9, 2, 6, 10, 3, 7, 11. So this will, the 4, the, the 8, and the 0 uh, represents the column um, 0. And then 1, 5, and 9 represents column uh, 1. So why this is... Uh, representing column zero that's because our index is you know um, is zero base or meaning it will start um, counting from zero so this will be the column zero the column one the column two and the column three okay and of course um, we could um, try to display the value of this we could access the values of our multi-dimensional arrays by using the indexes of um, the columns and rows so for example we want to change the value of um, the values that we could get from the row 2 and um, column 3 so basically the value of or the value that we could get from um, our array index 2 and 3 is um, 11 because this is the row 2 and this is column 3 so 0 1 2 3 so we get the 11 or the value 11 so if we want to change this to something like 8 so we could do it or assign a value to this by 8 so it should display 11 or I mean 8 instead of 11 so we could try that so print F and then um, percent D which is the format uh, format specifier for our int value so we could specify the array index um, 2 and then index 3 so if we try to compile and run our program we should get now the value um, 8 value 8 as you can see here that's because we already modified the value inside the array of index 2 and 3 so let's try to comment this and then compile and build our program and as you can see we're getting 11 that's because that's the initial value of the array index 2 and 3. Now we could use array or I mean I, we could use um, loops here to access and change the value of our um, array or multidimensional array. And of course, because we're using multidimensional array, we could also use um, nested loops to change and access the values of our array so, so for example um, we could declare for loop here and this is for example int and then row equals zero and then our row is less than or uh, yeah row is less than 
um, like for example, um, two or or three. Okay, and then row plus plus. So basically, we're iterating from zero, one, and two because we're we only have like three um, rows, but we starting we're starting from zero. So that's make uh, that's making it like the value of our row should only be within two, not three. That's why we're using single or I mean um, less than three right here. And then, of course, we could make another loop for our column. So int column and then equals to zero and then um, column is less than four and then um, we're going to say here column plus plus okay and then of course we could use this particular print uh, print f statement to display the values of our um, array so percent d we could use here the uh, array name which is A, because we're using the array name A. So A, and then um, we are going to specify here the columns and rows. So percent D, and then here percent D equals percent D. So inside here, we could specify the row, and then the column, and of course, the value of that particular row and column okay so this will be a row and of course this will be column okay so again we're just trying to get the value of uh, inside our array represented by this particular row and column okay so th these are the indexes the row and column so let's try to build or compile and run our program and we're getting this particular output right here but we don't want that let's try to add a backslash n to add a new line every uh, execution so as you can see here we have all the values coming from our array so array and then we have index 0 0 so the value is um, 0 right there as you can see and then a 0 1 so the value is 1, A02 is 2, A03 is 3, and A1 and uh, A10 is 4, and so on. So that's how you can uh, that's how you can use the multi-dimensional array inside our C program. Okay, and I think that's clear enough how you could uh, iterate and modify your multi-dimensional array by using for loops so again if you have questions you can ask questions in the comment section below and again once again guys thank you for watching and see you in the next video